Oh, beautiful ladies. Today, the powder foundation has it. We are going to compare. I have two high-end, Barrett Minerals and Laura Geller. I have two budget-friendly, which is the Sephora brand, and then the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Wear. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to put a high-end powder on one side. I'm not going to let you know which one, <laughs> which side, and then the budget-friendly on the other side. And so when I do the other set of foundation, I'll wear the same um, eyeshadow, everything, same clothing, same hair, so you can do a comparison. Who knows if you'll even be able to tell the difference. I think they're all pretty uh, close to the same color. So without any further ado, wackadoo, let's get started with the first two. So I'm just blending. I have a nice little, like a kabookadoo brush. Press it in, press it and swirl. I found with powders that works great. And remember, we need a really hydrated skin. I know powders are not a lot of ladies' cup of tea. So, so that's one side with one makeup. Now I'm going to go on to the other side and swirl. I want you to see it. All right. Oh, my nose. All right. Going on this side, ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't tell. This one might see, this one might be a little lighter than the other. Like press into it, you can have these shorter and it'll be more of a, a direct application. I think that's more of a heavier. <laughs> you know, I just don't, as I said, you know I don't know the lingo, ladies. But you can get the drift. So, you just want to blend. Go up and down in this half. Go blend. Blend, blend, blend. I do love powder foundation. Like they don't set in the lines or show the fine lines and wrinkles like um, a liquid foundation can. Okay, so get this side. Straight on. And then this side. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my uh, makeup to see if that makes any difference to this look. Okay, here is the first powdered comparison. And uh, one is high-end, one is low-end. So you need to just see what one wears well. I'll use the same makeup. I'm going to do the other comparison tomorrow. And then you will tell me what you think is your favorite. All right, ladies. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Okay, ladies, here we are, ready for round two of the powder comparison. One higher end, one budget friendly. I don't like to say lower end because they really are not lower end anymore. All right, I'm going to put one on. I'm having a heck of a time. I don't know why I do that. I'm used to when I dip in powders to do that, and I don't need to do that. I don't need to shake it. Okay, here we go. And I'm hoping the colors, I, I, I just... I cannot get the colors, you know, in one color it's uh, sand, and another it's light, medium, and in another it's cold, cool, I mean, cool, medium, I don't even know, I think I am a neutral or more on the cool side, not in my personality. Pressing might be better than just swirling. Because sometimes swirling makes it lighter. Pressing makes it fuller. <laughs> That's just how I've found it. All right. That's one powder. Now I will go on to the other powder. Okay. So this one I'm going to take so that I have it up here like that. And... Poke it in the powder and see. Press and fluff, maybe. I'm still learning, ladies. As you know, I don't pretend to know it all. 
I'm not an everlasting know-it-all. And remember, less is more. I just try to put a little bit more on the discolorations. Depending on the coverage, these are all buildable. Remember, if you build it, they will come. All right, that's the two powders. All right, I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup as before, and then we shall see. Okie dokie, here I am with the full makeup on, which I will list in the uh, description box below all of what I'm wearing. Now, to get to what we're really talking about is the powder. This is a second day powder application. This is side A. This is side B. So from yesterday's, this is side A and side B. So what I want you to do, ladies, is in the comments below, please say which one you liked. So you would say uh, first powder application A or B, or if you liked them both, just put what you like from the first and then from the second, the same thing, A or B. And then in a few days, I'll just let you know which the products are. I'm not trying to stress you out or anything. Just think of it as a blind study, except you're not blind. I guess I was thinking of like two buck chuck in the higher end wines. I mean, a lot of times two buck chuck one. I look forward to your comments and find out which applications that you like the best in powder. So don't go too far. I'll be back. I'll be back.